So a few years ago, I was fortunate to be part of a canoe expedition that went from the Carbella campground on the Yellowstone River, just, just outside the boundaries of the Yellowstone Park. We paddled from there all the way down to Pompey's Pillar, and just a spectacular uh, part of that landscape and, and part of the return of Lewis and Clark's expedition. This is the paddle journal, travel journal that I kept along that route. So I'm just gonna take a couple of minutes and give you an idea of some of the things that I put inside this journal. So let's have a quick look. So here's a, a little steadier look at the uh, at the title page from the Yellowstone River trip that we did for a couple of weeks in in, uh, in July. Um, again, like the Missouri River trip we did, it was a combined American and Canadian cruise along the way, and we had a fellow from the uh, Lewis and Clark Trail Foundation along with us, and and uh, boy, that was incredible history lessons that we got all along the way. So, um, as a as a route map, I just took a, a map from a tourist guide, uh, cut it up and put it in here, and this is the route that we took all the way along from from um, the Carbella Campground down in the um, this far section here, all the way up to uh, to Pompey's Pillar there. Um, little vignettes. I can still add another piece in here if I want. Um, you can glue things in, like a little uh, Montana travel sticker. Um, little, you can decorate the, the dates up. I wanted a little texture to it, so I just took a very, very light wash and put it right over that, that text there. Now, I'm a geographer by training, so I, I love sketch maps. They're easy to do, they're fun, and lays out our campsite along the Yellowstone River there. This is our the boat ramp where we put in, and we're heading down um, this way from the Carbella campground, so just a lot of fun. Um, along the way, ran into a, a stonefly carcass on the beach there, so a, a shoreline, so just a quick sketch of that. Again, a little wash in, be, in behind. Uh, we did a tour of the Crow, of Crow Reservation archaeological site, and we had these incredible prairie coneflowers all moving off in one direction, I think following the sun. So again, a quick little watercolor sketch of that. Um, and I, I did the painting of that back when we were back at our campground. So little vignettes that you can do, write-ups about where you went, who you met, what you did along the way, little border pieces that you can put in. Um, so lots of things that you can do, and you can do right over the... The, the text that's in there. Oddly, there's a, a hollyhock in the middle of our campsite for some reason. So descriptions of, you know, when one day, one of these voyageur canoes we were paddling, we went over in that. We made it up the first wave fine, got a little bit turned on the second wave. By the third wave, we were sideways and we went right over and it was uh, proverbial. Everything went into slow motion. So really a pretty, uh, pretty incredible uh, journey that we had along the way. And there's that gusset. So, you know, we had uh, we had um, a photographer from the Laurel Outlook along with us, and there's uh, the article that he did. That's actually me in the bow of the canoe going over some of these waves. So I've just tucked all of these things into here so that I've got them in my, um, in my, my paddle journal and some of the, the people that we met along the way as well, little descriptions. So there's a quick look at the kinds of things that you can do in your paddle journal, your travel journal, hiking, cycling, whatever it happens to be. So give it a try. And if you've got lots of questions, uh, fire away. I'm more than happy to answer.